Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and uh, today I thought I'd talk to you about the elephant in the room, the uh, mammoth gun, and uh, show you how to unlock this easter egg achievement, uh, which you need to get the gun in uh, Battlefield Hardline, obviously. Now, um, in this video, uh, I'll cover unlocking the two hilarious guns in Hardline, uh, the Mammoth Gun, and which is a three-shot shotgun, and the Syndicate Gun, which is the almost cartoony cut-down version of the Lewis Machine Gun with a um, laser sight and the scope of all things. And, um, well, both unlocks are directly related to each other, and you have to have one to get the other, so stay tuned if you want to find out how. If, however, you already have unlocked these guns and, uh, you know, when the Betrayal DLC was released a while back, uh, this video will be a complete waste of time for you, and I suggest you uh, press the back button now on your browser and go back to watching the cat videos. Um, if you're still here, though, let's proceed. Now, uh, to get the Syndicate gun, you must first unlock the Mammoth gun, which is unlocked with the Big Game Hunter achievement. Um, and the gun itself, for me, well, it was a kind of a novelty uh, item at best. I had varying success with it, getting consistent kills, and um, to get good results, I mostly had to aim, da aim down sight. And I even began to wonder if this gun had a built-in, some sort of randomness built into it to make it underpowered, because uh, people have a problem with game-changing easter egg rewards, um, like the stealth camo unlocked by the infamously hard, uh, you know, Illuminati easter egg that uh, Jack Frags, I believe, called it, that is accessible on the Dragon Valley map. Also, it's nail-bitingly long reload and uh, recoil that kicks like a mule with its bolts duct taped also makes it quite hard to use. So, uh, let's get back on point. To unlock the Mammoth Gun, you need to find a secret room on Chinatown, uh, on the Chinatown map and open it. Now, this room can be found if you're on the B-flag facing north, to your left, um, go to the back of this room and shoot out the sign that's um, blocking the tiny little switch under the table, uh, and uh, obviously press the switch and a secret room will open to your left. Now um, inside is a case with the, the mammoth gun which you can't open right now, and a shelf for six weird little statues that you need to find in order to um, unlock this gun that you need to look for, uh, well, all over this map. So, let's get directly to it. On the Charlie flag, one is hidden in the vegetables, and if you go directly to this fruit stand and uh, look east directly towards the e, fr e flag and shoot at the produce, you will find it and press E to uh, pick it up and a sound note will play. Uh, now the next one is uh, to the southwest of Delta, uh, of the Delta flag, and it's in a corner store. Nothing exciting here, just walk up to the open free shelves and interact with it. Next, go to the southeast corner of Alpha, and this one's a little tricky. It's well hidden inside the flowers and shit, under the stairs leading up. Now, our next stop is at the B flag, right across from the Mammoth Gun secret room, on a shelf out in the open, but pretty easy to miss because it's uh, so dark in here. Alright, so then you go uh, a little bit north from the previous spot, you will see a butcher shop on your left, right in here is another one, right in the shelf out in the open, staring you in the face. Alright, so the last one is at uh, to the northeast of Echo Flag inside a bus. Again, nothing fancy here, it's just sitting out in the open on the dashboard right next to the steering wheel, so, you know, walk right up to it and interact with it to pick it up. 
So that's all the little statues collected. Uh, you can now go back to the secret room on B flag and um, interact with the case to get the gun out. Uh, remember though, uh, only one person can get the gun, so you uh, have to be the one to pick up all the statues. It's also obviously, uh, it also has to be arranged so for it to count because, you know, otherwise what's the point if you can't show off your new uh, your new find to random people on the internet you've never met and will never meet again. Um, I'll be honest here, when I was repeatedly killed with the syndicate gun, I was kind of jealous. Alright, so now on to part 2 of our little story, unlocking the syndicate gun. Uh, now, I have a little bit of a problem with this, this part of uh, the easter egg because it has some stick requirements and I, for one, do not believe in this style of easter eggs and uh, you know the ones that make you uh, have things that you may not have access to like other DLCs or uh, parts of unlock that you can't do alone necessarily because uh, for this part you need four friends for this uh, to work and coordinate well with them which just doesn't happen on a public server in fact uh, even on a no kill easter egg server uh, specifically for this cooperation was hard to come by because uh, well this gun is first come first pick up so people literally kill you to unlock it themselves and um, well obviously I think this is stupid and ridiculous easter eggs are supposed to be fun references you know or hilarious non sequiturs but requiring people to sync and have all the DLCs is just bad juju so, uh, pardon my rant, uh, here we go. To unlock the syndicate gun and thus the Big Eddie's Wise Guys achievement, you need five people, uh, including yourself, to go to the uh, map cemetery and stand around the D flag or the catacombs where you will see these, well, these are uh, four of these little mausoleums, I guess you can call them, well, they are. They each have a different sign on them, and um, each sign corresponds to a different DLC's a DLC in Hardline's uh, life cycle. Now, uh, what this actually means is that you don't necessarily need to have these DLC's, but rather uh, the free World War II guns that Visceral rolled out earlier. Each sign corresponds to the. M1A1 Thompson uh, submachine gun, M1 Carbine, the 1903 Springfield rifle, and the 1887 repeating rifle. Now, you need to get down to the catacombs level yourself and stand on the syndicate symbol while your friends uh, t take their places up above you and um, simultaneously activate the four symbols when you are ready and if you've done it right this will happen outside and this will happen inside and at that point uh, the doorway will open and you will be able to descend into the darkness on a spiral staircase where you will find a uh, burial fit for a king with a weapon fit for a jester. Pick it up quickly as others will kill you for it and hightail it out of there as fast as you can because anyone remaining inside the chamber will uh, promptly be killed by a lightning storm. Now um, to unlock these comically inept guns without rage inducing heart attacks I suggest you search for these um, so-called no-kill mammoth and syndicate gun servers but remember they are no-kill in the name only so keep your wits about you so thanks for watching please rate and share this video it helps my channel grow check out my other videos at the end of this one and remember in soviet russia youtube subscribes you